Right. Where's Purzel? He's late for the blooming recording again. Purzel? Purzel? Ah, oh, no. Right, we're gonna have to get Harry, aren't we? But Harry's on all day. Well, I don't know what we can do. I don't know where he's gone. He was here like ten minutes ago. I'm right over here. Per where? Perza, where are you? I'm right here. Look, Perza, where are you, please? Can you just... I said that I'm right here. Perza, come on now. How about right here? You see, I was invisible. Puzzle, look, don't do the invisible thing. It offends some of the viewers. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final episode on the series of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yes, I know, but it's not over yet because we've got lots of specials coming up for you. Anyway, all you have to do to win a million gems, firstly, you have to answer 11 questions correctly, and secondly, you have to play by the rules. Yes. Because if you don't follow the rules, you don't win the money. Okay. So, we still have five, five contestants remaining. So... We're going to play a game called Fastest Finger First. Fastest Finger First to decide which of you five, five contestants gets to play in that hot seat. The hot seat. Thank you, Tom. Okay. So, for you five contestants, here is the Fastest Finger First question. Put these blahs in nonsensical order. Blah 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 blah. So the correct order was blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. So, who got the right in the fastest time? The quickest was Ellie Elephant in 6.42 seconds. Come on up here, Ellie! Yes! Yes! And someone, Ellie Elephant, come with me. So, in the hot seat, we have Ellie Elephant, who is a student nurse from Plankershire. Ellie, how are you? I'm... I'm really good, thank you. Really, really good. That's... really good. <laughs> so then, how would you like to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Um, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, it would end this awkward silence, wouldn't it? It would, yes, it would, it really would. It really would, okay. We've got to answer 11 questions correctly to win a million gems. It's the same as always. You get three lifelines to help you out. 5050, 50-50. Phone a friend on a non-wireless phone. <gasps> or you can ask the people sitting over there, or over there, in the audience. So, here we go. This is the first question. It's for 1,000 gems. Ready? Yes. John, Ringo, Paul and George once said that all you need is what? Love, knowledge, happiness or home insurance. <laughs> I think it's, um, love, A. It is love, A. Or a thousand gems. Who are we going to have for two thousand gems? If roses are red, what colour are violets? Are they purple? 
blue, pink, or orange. I think they'd be purple because they are violets. Um, but I really don't know. So I'm going to ask the audience, please. Okay. Okay, audience, this is to help Ellie get up to 2,000 gems. The question, if roses are red, what colour are violets? Are they purple, blue, pink, or orange? It's for 2,000 gems, guys, on your keypads. All vote now. So a whopping 87% said blue, 6 for purple, 5 for orange, and 2 for pink. Yeah, well I really do think it's purple. Yeah, well, the lifeline's called Ask the Audience, not Ignore the Audience. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I think just to be sure, 50-50. Sure using another lifeline? Yeah, do it. Okay, computer, please get rid of two supposedly random wrong answers. Leave it with the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. So A and B remain. Blue's still there, and purple is still there. The audience said blue, but I still think it could be purple. Yeah. I think I'm going to phone a friend. Using all your lifelines. I'm going to have to. I'm really going to have to. Okay, sometimes you get a stumper of a question like that. Okay. Who are you going to call? I'm going to call my older sister, Kelly. Okay, let's get Kelly on the line. Hello? Um, Kelly? Yes, this is Kelly. Um, Kelly, this is Richard Purcell from Who Wants to Be a Gazillionaire. I mean, Millionaire. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, we've got Ellie in the seat who's playing for, um, 2,000 gems. Oh, no. Yeah, and you're a last lifeline. Oh, no. I know. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna pass you over to Ellie, and I'll give you 30 seconds starting now. Um, Kelly, if roses are red, what colour are violets? Are they purple or blue? Um, they're definitely blue, 100% sure. So, Kelly seems to be absolutely sure that they are blue. Just like the audience were 87% sure. And your 50 50 did keep it in. Yeah, I know they're supposedly random, but I think they might just keep that in in case I'd say it. She's saying it could be a red herring. I'm saying it is a red herring. And I think it's purple, because violets are purple, aren't they? Well, it's up to you. I mean, if it was me, I'd say B. Are you allowed to tell me that? I'm allowed to help you with the easy questions, apparently. Yeah, but I think you might be wrong as well. Oh, thank you. You know what? I might as well just go. <laughs> um, no, I'm just going to say A, final answer. Well, you think it's A? I think it's B? Your friends think it's B, the audience think it's B. The answer was B. No! Yeah, sorry, Ellie, you leave with nothing. Let's try and get someone else in that seat. The next fastest thing of first question is... Starting with the smallest, put these currencies in order of their valued currency unit. We've got the British Pound, the British Gemini, the Japanese Yen, or the American Dollar. So... We're going to find out what the right order was after the break.